Hey guys, Silence here. here. Welcome back to another Utah Macross tutorial video. So it's been a while since I did one of these and this video should have been out well the day that this event was launched. But uh, due to certain circumstances, it was not possible to do a video until now uh, because well Dana has announced some slight changes towards this event instead of removing it completely and replacing it with a different event uh, which was uh, hinted during the start of the year of 2019 in the Utah Macross SP broadcast. So anyway guys, let's dive down into it and let's talk about the Kuji event or also known as the mission event uh, in Utah Macross. So let's tap the event button first off and dive into the event. Let's talk about the basic play of this current event. Uh, as you can see, this particular event right now relies on missions. Normally, the first page that you would see when you enter the event is this whole thing, which basically lets a player choose the difficulty of the mission uh, that they're going to challenge themselves in uh, while playing the lives. And of course, when you complete the missions, or challenges, you will be granted with the point boost at the top right hand corner of the mission itself. So of course, um, it is always better to challenge yourself with the highest level of difficulty. Uh, make sure that you have episode plates that are capable enough to settle the missions um, themselves. As for what the missions are, we will talk about that later on. So let's talk about um, the basic gameplay of this event first before we move on to deeper details So right, so once you have selected the mission that you want Alright, basically you will next have to pick the song that you want to play um, First off, let's talk about the buttons available within this current event itself at this page So if you look at this bar here, this is usually what you will see um, for any event, basically the top uh, top set of numbers means the total amount of points you have obtained for this event as of this time. And of course, the second set of numbers basically means the next uh, required amount of points to unlock the item shown below. Alright, the blue button at the bottom here basically lets you do some setups for your event itself. The top line here that is uh, not selected basically uh, picks the bonus point songs at random for you. So if I were to select this, um, whenever I finish a live, the song will change um, randomly accordingly to the bonus points uh, line here. So yeah, um, we will talk about the bonus songs in just a moment uh, after we've gone through the basic uh, play style for this current event. Alright, so the second line here, which is what I usually recommend all players to use instead, uh, basically, it will pick the previously played song uh, as the song that you're going to play next. So basically, you choose your own songs yourself rather than the game picking a random song for you because uh, you don't want to end up wasting time selecting songs uh, that you don't want to play. You could use that precious time to uh, re-energize your energy bar and play the next song immediately uh, to save time and of course to save um, the hassle of deciding which team to use for that particular song that the game has chosen for you at random. Alright, moving on. The next blue button here below the mission leads you back to the mission difficulty selection screen. So you can re-pick your difficulty once again, of course, if you feel like you're not up to challenge or le for level 3. Alright, the next button basically is your song, select uh, song selection button. So basically, you can pick whichever song that you want to play with and of course, um, whichever tabs the songs belong to on that uh, tab itself. Alright, so next thing, um, basically, whenever you play a live, uh, I will show you guys here some of the screenshots I've taken. Um, at the end of the life, you will be rewarded a certain amount of medals that will be used for claiming rewards under the Kuji um, reward collection page. 
Alright, so take note of this medal. The amount of medals that you will be awarded with varies accordingly to your mission, uh, mission difficulty. And of course, the bonus, um, bonus percentage that your team of divas uh, have uh, set up with, with accordingly to your episode plates. So if you guys aren't familiar with what I'm talking about, let's take a look at the uh, bonus percentage first before we move on. So let's dive here. Of course, the friend plates will affect your bonus percentage. Like for example, this one for this current event uses this as well. So that plate will give you a 5% boost. So as you can see, I have all 5% boost in, um, in bonus points um, from all the episode plates equipped on my divas, including the one from my friend. So if I were to tap each percentage, they will show you the list of episode plates that belong to that percentage boost. Now, like the previous event that I've explained before, under the ticketing mission uh, style, the 5% the boost only uh, applies to one of the episode plates within this whole list. So if you have this episode plate equipped and this one equipped, Sadly to say, you will not get a plus 10% boost, you will only get a plus 5% because they are the same episode plates under that category itself. Hopefully, this is easy for you to understand. Alright, so make sure you do not equip duplicate episode plates from the same category because definitely you're going to end up wasting space and then of course, uh, you could have better episode plates equipped um, for that particular bonus instead of um, having you know duplicate um, plates and not having them utilized fully within your arsenal of episode plates itself all right so next thing we're going to talk about <clears throat> is the reward system for this um, event itself so as, as similar as the previous event the ticketing event you can tap this button here and you will see um, the full list of items you can obtain um, if you have earned enough points from the event itself. So as you can see, I'm not that far away from completing the entire reward list uh, because I've been working hard to obtain um, the points and the medals for exchange later on. Alright, so the next button would be your song details, I guess, and including your diva's proficiency um, for the song itself, as you can see, I have maxed out all my Divas proficiency for the current song event, uh, rather the song itself. And of course, the flashing pink button means that this event has a challenge to it. So make sure you know what these mean, and usually uh, wherever a new event comes around during one of my gacha introduction videos, I will talk about the challenge within the event itself. So make sure you guys watch those videos to find out what kind of special challenge there is for that particular event itself. I will not explain in detail for this current event because I've already done so in a previous video. Alright, so let's talk about the Kuji reward system. Um, as you can see here, there is this button under the mission selection uh, and you can see that I have a total of 7,048 medals I have not claimed a single one just yet because of this tutorial video. So let's talk about what the side rewards uh, for this current event is all about. Because the ticketing event did not have such a system. In fact, only the middle event of the month, the, which is basically this one, the Kuji event or also known as the mission event, um, will you have this Kuji system. So this part of the event itself is a bit complicated um, for first timers but if you're a veterinarian player and you've gotten used to the system of um, play for this kind of event you will probably have uh, gotten a concept of how many medals you should be using at this point of time um, when there's only that many rewards left to claim all right so listen carefully this is where things get a bit tricky uh, when it comes to saving those medals and using them wisely. Alright, so first of all, the item shown here is the top item that you will want to get from the list of items available in that list. So the title here basically is your list one or reward list one. 
Alright, and within this category, there is 20 items in total. And I've not claimed a single one, so that for there is 20 out of 20 items. And this item, which is what you want, is within this 20 items. So it's a 1 in 20 chance that this item will be drawn uh, with a single pool. <clears throat> Alright, so if your math is fantastic and you are very good at it, you definitely know the odds or probability that this item might pop out within a single pool itself. That's why there are two buttons here that allows us players to use. Um, the first button on the left basically just uses 10 medals to claim one item. So if, let's say for example, you're going to take a chance, you're going to try pulling singles instead of by 10s, which is what the second button does, or rather, to be, put it precisely, um, because I have more than enough medals, uh, that's why the maximum amount of items you can pull within a single time is 10. But if, let's say for example, you have less than 10, um, for example, maybe 7, 8 to 9 medals, the total quantity for this button will change accordingly to whatever leftover medals you have currently on hand. Alright, so what are the rest of the buttons? Basically, this button will only light up if the main item for that list has been claimed. Therefore, you can proceed to the next list. And why is the proceeding to the next list important? Because if you tap the button that I just pressed, it allows you to scroll through all the list of rewards available within the event itself. And of course, the total amount of lists is 15. But do take note, the further the list you go into, the amount of items available to claim is ridiculously a lot. So it starts to get a bit more difficult somewhere around the range of, uh, I would say, list 6 because 150 items, you know, is a ton of medals. So just basically times 10, that's the amount of medals you need for each list. Uh, so from 1, you need 200, medal, uh, 200 medals. Second list, you need 300 medals, 500 medals, so on and so forth. So as you can tell, you really have to put in effort to play this event if you want to claim all the top tier items from each list itself. Now, why you would want to obtain all the top tier items within each list up to list, I would say, okay, the top list, the last list that you should really work hard towards to for all gamers uh, is list 12. Why? Because it is the last list that has the episode plates uh, available for that particular event itself. And why is it so important to obtain the last set of episode plates within the event's Kuji rewards? Because this is the only event where you can get a free, fully evolved 4-star plate with a luck value of plus 13. Now, in order for you to obtain a plus 13 luck episode plate from a gacha, you can imagine how much money or singing stones you probably would want to throw into the gacha itself just in order for you to get a plus 13 luck episode plate. So if you are free to play person, definitely work hard for this event. A plus 13 episode plate is very very crucial for a ticketing event. If you have watched my tutorial video on the ticketing uh, breakdown, um, yeah, you know how important a an episode played with luck is and well basically for you to play the game free uh, throughout the entirety of its existence uh, a full set of episode plates with the highest quantity of luck is very very crucial so that's why um, in all my previous videos before this one that I've talked about the current event style I have always recommended players to always try to aim to get all 14 episode plates from this current event. Why is it 14? Basically, well, plus 13 luck, plus one more at the beginning first episode plate. Yeah, the total adds up to 14 episode plates. <laughs> Alright, so let's get down into the deep, deep and gritty of this current event. What do you actually need to do? Uh, aside from all the knowledge from basic gameplay of this current event. 
let's talk about it first of all. So, as you can tell, episode plates are very very crucial when it comes to this current event. So let's dive into the team setup once again. We're going to talk about um, why pulling the current events gachas are always very very important because well the episode plates themselves have to do with the bonus boost that the event has currently so as you can see the event episode plates that were given for this current event and of course one that is probably um, gotten through the gacha itself uh, is within the bonus boost uh, set of episode plates so this one is the one that is free this is also free from the event so yeah okay then this one which is what I have Mikumo's exclusive gacha episode plate is also a 5% boost so pulling gachas for this current event from the exclusive banners for this event I know I'm blabbing away but please don't mind me it's all crucial information for how you can handle this event at your best capabilities uh, I definitely want all you guys to do your best and hopefully enjoy the game in its full entirety without the need of spending as much money as possible. Alright, so yes, pulling the gachas for the event itself are pretty crucial. Of course, luck plays a part whether you obtain the 5 star plate that is exclusive to the banner or maybe even the 4 star plates um, or even 3 star plates that probably have the 5% boost link for this current event itself any amount just to boost that five percent is very very crucial all right so guys um hopefully you have saved up enough singing stones for each event maybe doing single pools is fine as well hopefully you might get one or two of those episode plates that you need for this bonus percentage if you don't have the full 20 percent that's fine i've played the event itself without a full 20 percent boost before and i've done Pretty decently and I'm still always I'm still always able to obtain that plus 13 luck episode play um, that is given free for this current event all right so as you can see guys we're gonna talk about the plate setup for the current event or rather the, the event style all right so as you can see I have a lot of episode plates um, that have luck boosted why is that so um, because this current event doesn't rely on high score um, mainly because the only time that you actually need to try and achieve a high score is when you're clearing um, the missions or rather the achievements for this current event all right so let's talk about the current events achievement um, or rather missions so you can only access it through the mission selection tab from this listing and the mission button is right here so if you tap it um, it's pretty much the same as the ticketing event. Uh, however, ever since the new implementation um, for this current event, which I have not talked about yet, I will talk about later, um, there are certain things that have changed. Like, in the past, um, you, you would have um, the main event song, all right, and two other songs that will rotate accordingly or may not rotate. Uh, they sometimes stay permanent. Um, those side event songs with the point bonus um, that you, if you play them you probably get more points and more medals um, by playing those lives um, yeah so when you play those side songs there will be missions that have um, those requirements like play that particular live play that particular song uh, as an event live song and clear them maybe four or five times that kind of stuff now those missions are no longer there within this whole listing so I'm going to talk about um, what we have currently within this event so that you guys can understand um, a grasp of what kind of things you need to do for this event to clear this entire list of missions because you do not want to miss out on the Zodiac Medal rewards given for this mission list itself. So alright, uh, since I've cleared every single one here you can probably see all the different varieties that will appear accordingly because um, when you start off the event definitely you won't see the list this long so guys bear with me I'm not I'm gonna breeze through this as fast as I can 
Alright, so daily missions. Daily missions like the ticketing events are very crucial. Make sure you clear them before the day resets because the amount of Zodiac medals that you can obtain from these daily missions are a ton or rather a buttload. Uh, 1,200 medals, you know, accordingly. So that's a lot of uh, medals according to what the normal missions, as you can see, some of the normal missions only give like 500 pieces and some are even lesser than 500. So yeah, guys, daily missions are very, very important, especially if you want to exchange these medals for the free 5-star episode plates available within the Chaos Exchange itself. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I have another video talking about Chaos Exchange. Guys, go look at it, watch that video, <laughs> and get yourself set up with full-time across. Alright, so daily missions, as you can see, the apparently the missions that I've cleared have stayed permanent. So, the whole list of daily missions here are exactly the same thing. So basically, play an event, uh, event song, and challenge the mission and clear it. So basically, you have to clear a mission uh, within the uh, event song itself. So that's pretty easy, as long as you challenge a... Uh, a difficulty that you can handle that's no problem at all then followed by playing the event specific song uh, clearing the mission challenge five times then so on so forth ten times then of course there is this one event song title here all right challenge on difficulty hard mode or higher with a life of 90% and above then after that following by you know um, same thing, event song, song title, uh, difficulty hard and above, activating Cho Utahime Mo. So you only need to do that once, surprisingly. And of course, same thing. Then we have like um, obtain fold. So if you don't know what a fold is, basically it's that percentage bar at the top right hand corner um, during a live. Yeah, uh, that. That is basically what fold means. So you need to obtain 120% and above to clear this particular mission. Then of course, event song, blah blah blah, score 7, uh, 700,000 and above, 850,000 and above, 1 million and above, 1 million and you know, so on and so forth accordingly to the numbers here as stated. Alright, so next one, event song, song title. Uh, difficulty easy and above full combo so as you can see we are starting to enter the full combo criteria so you got easy normal hard uh, very hard and of course extreme is the last one so for this set of missions the same as the ticketing event you just need to play the hardest difficulty you can full combo on and it will clear the rest of them accordingly uh, once you have finished that particular life all right event mission challenge cleared 10 times Event mission cl challenge cleared 15 times, 20 times, so on and so forth, accordingly to the number increase mentioned here. So that's pretty much all you have to do. If you've been playing the event song um, consistently like I have, um, these missions will definitely be cleared um, easily, um, as long as you push yourself to maybe try and challenge yourself to clear higher difficulty missions, um, and of course, um, Clearing maybe an extreme full combo, that kind of stuff. So as you can see, I mostly tackle very hard and extreme. Uh, the clear basically was played accidentally because I was kind of sleepy. The game resetted and I didn't notice that the game had set the difficulty of the song to easy. And I accidentally tapped and went into the live. <laughs> so yeah, um, very strangely enough, that's one of the reasons why this would have the title clear at the top of the difficulty. Uh, other than that, it should have been new because I would never play anything below um, very hard. So yeah, all right. So okay, one of the other reasons why the team or rather the episode plates set up on your team have to be um, with luck plates. Um, other than the fact that you don't have to get a high score, is because within the song or rather the e event songs. Um, you can actually get free episode plates that belong to the costume or the Valkyries that you can unlock uh, from the event itself. So currently this event 
we have a costume for Reina. So her costume points can be obtained through these free episode plates that you can get from the event song itself. So like I mentioned in the earlier portion of the video, previously in the version of this event, we had two other songs that are listed for event songs. But right now, because of the new implementation, we are, which I will talk right after this one, um, you can't earn event episode plates as quickly as uh, you did in the past because they've changed the style of play um, due to that matter. So anyway guys, you can gain these free episode plates with the luck value high enough so let's let's take a look here guys so in my last vi tutorial video for the ticketing event we have mentioned that luck plays a very important role to summon out those golden notes um, if you guys aren't familiar what the golden notes are they are they look similar to this but go in color or rather yellow to some people who have um, some difficulty with color recognition recognition so guys a full setup of luck plates is very crucial uh, especially if you want to gain free episode plates from any event at all. Um, so yeah, you can unlock Reina's costume for free without buying any of the episode plates uh, from the gacha banner itself. You can save your actual real life money uh, or even singing stones that you've been saving up. You can use those singing stones for the second banner that will appear for the event itself. So guys, very very crucial thing to take note of when it comes to um, saving physical real life money for the game itself. <laughs> Alright, so once you obtain all these episode plates, and once you've gotten maybe like a, um, a total of 13 or 14 or 15 of these um, 3 star episode plates from the event song itself, you should have enough points to unlock the costume for the event for free. You know, although you might get it a bit later than everyone else. Uh, because maybe they are die-hard fans of that part particular diva and they've gotten that episode plates through the gacha itself. Other than that, you should be all good if you are in no rush to obtain the costume itself. So guys, we are done talking about your diva setup. So as long as you have um, the you know luck episode plates to support and of course the plates that boost in bonus points, you should have no problem at all. Um, oh yeah, so before I forget to mention about the episode plates, um, the center episode plate on your center diva, which has the active skill, you definitely might want to change that around accordingly to the mission challenges that you have, you will be facing. Um, I will talk about the variety of mission challenges later on in this video. Um, I know this video is very very long, usually tutorial videos uh, that do full breakdown of such events and games you know tend to be a bit draggy so <laughs> thank you guys if you have been watching all the way to this point uh, there is still quite a bit more to go so bear with me guys all right so that's it for the episode plate setup let's talk about the change in the current event um, that we are going through um, and that is basically this particular button here so in the past like I mentioned earlier in my video twice <laughs> if you've been paying attention in the past the event tab event tab had more than just one special event song with the bonus value written at the top there now with this new implementation if you tap this you can see there is a whole bunch of colored elements with the specific dates and times that they change to the next one so what does this mean basically Let's say for example, the first day of the event, all songs that belong to this color will have that song bonus percentage boost. So today, it is the yellow song, so that's why if I will go to any of the main song or rather main series tabs that belong to that color, you will see that bonus uh, point highlight at the top of the song's image. So if I scroll a few more, yeah, all the yellow songs will have the boost in that manner. Alright, so what does this mean? So now, remember when I said you can gain free episode plates from the event songs itself? 
In the past, having those two extra event songs along with the main one uh, made playing a bit more, uh, I would say, enjoyable because you can change up whichever song you wish to play. Uh, in case you're you're big, you're you're quite bored with a particular song, you can change to a different song. And of course, because maybe the other songs are easier to handle rather than the main event song itself. So yeah, so things could spice up. Uh, your play by having those extra event songs itself. Now this manner of uh, event style is kind of enjoyable in a way because you can choose more than just one main series of Macross songs to play with. Um, of course, um, like I mentioned in my previous Gacha update video, uh, I will mention it here as well because this is a more formal update video for the event. There are a list of songs um, for that particular color you want to consider paying attention to because of their difficulty. Um, let's say for example if you want to challenge extreme because the extremes give you more medals, give you more points for your events, um, definitely you will want to go towards tackling the difficulties that are lower or more easy, uh, I would say easier for you to handle. So let's say for example now it's under yellow song, maybe under Macross uh, first generation there is a song that you like and that belongs to the category and has an easy difficulty challenge um, and definitely you might want to try tackling that instead of the main event song itself. But of course if you play the songs outside of the event tab, here comes the interesting part, the episode plates that you get from the end of the life does not relate to the free episode plate that belongs to the event itself. So if you want those costume points that belong to the current event costume, you have to keep playing the event song under the event tag. Let's say for example this song, alright, uh, this particular song, Cosmic Movement, it belongs to Macross Delta. Macross Delta has Cosmic Movement officially unlocked as a permanent song. If you play Cosmic Movement under the Macross Delta tab and not the event tab, well, you'll be getting a different kind of episode played rather than the ones that you'll get from the event song version of this song. So, yeah, it's a real bummer that they made it into this manner. Um, so, it made getting a costume free to unlock a lot more difficult and a lot more less entertaining. Whew, that was a lot to unload. <laughs> so hey guys, um, yeah, this whole recording is uncut, so this is pretty interesting. Um, Alright, so we're done with team setup, we're done with um, costumes and gachas. Oh god, now let's talk about the variety of missions that is available for this current event. Um, yeah, so far I've I've seen five different sets of missions. So guys, I will list out these missions accordingly um, with these screenshots here. I've arranged the images here accordingly to the percentage boost from the lowest to highest. So let's take a look at how you can read these missions and kind of understand what they are actually all about. So level 1 to level 3, basically they are pretty much the same thing um, for the main objective for the mission. But on level 3, you will notice that probably there's a few more text added to the uh, first portion of the mission requirement. And that is usually related to the current event's challenge. For this current event, the challenge is basically while you're playing the life, your life is being depleted. Um, so yeah, so the second line basically just reads Cho Utahime mode activated and clearing the song. So level 1, level 2 is basically the same thing. As long as you activate Cho Utahime mode, uh, you're pretty much done. So my opinion on this percentage boost, 80% is not exactly the best amount because it is the lowest percentage boost you can obtain from these missions. I would not recommend anyone to use double energy for playing the life on this mission itself. So just use a single uh, amount 
Um, let's say for example you're playing very hard, just use 15 energies and settle it. Do not go for extreme because it is definitely not worth the extra 5 energies for this 80% boost. Alright, so moving on to the next one which is 100%. Combo rank S and above clear. You would notice that it's exactly a single line mission throughout level 1 to 3 because there is no added difficulty for the event's main challenge. That said, at 100% boost, I would highly recommend you to use the double energy advantage here as well. Um, then let's move on to the next one. It's also 100% boost, but with the added event challenge difficulty, life depletion continuously, score rank double S and clear. So it's not exactly very difficult getting a double S score rank. Um, if you are a new player, definitely you might face a bit of a challenge unless you're playing on a much easier difficulty song. Therefore, this challenge can be cleared easily. Uh, whereas for maybe like your life depletion, you, as long as you have an active skill that replenishes HP, you should be fine. Alright, so moving on, we have a 120% boost, life depletion continuously, combo rank S and above clear. Now, having a combo rank S and above, it probably means that you need to close to full combo a song or at least not break throughout the song uh, for duration of three quarter of the song's play. So yeah, it, the total quantity of combo um, required for this mission will be indicated after you've selected the mission itself. Uh, you can see maybe it requires 300 plus uh, combo, um, 200 plus combo, it depends on how many notes that the song actually has. So guys, this one, it's a bit tricky. I would still recommend you to use the double energy uh, for the double rewards. But do choose a song that you can handle with a full combo uh, of almost 100% likelihood. Alright, so moving on to the next one which is at 125%. Now this one, easy peasy surprisingly because the challenge is not exactly very difficult. Um, event difficulty challenge is present, life depletion continuously, but you need to clear the song with at least 80% or more of your HP. Now, like I mentioned earlier in the, the third roll of missions, you as long as you have a center skill that uh, recovers HP, maybe about 30% to 50% of your HP recovered, uh, those active skills that, you know, kind of uh, does those uh, kind of reju rejuvenation uh, abilities, you should be fine. As long as you activate the skill at the end of the life, make sure you tap it before the uh, the clear or full combo sign or perfect full combo sign appears, you know, so that you can benefit fully from this percentage boost. Alright guys, so this is pretty much it for all the missions um, available for this current event style. Hopefully you guys can grasp what I'm trying to say. Alright, lastly, before we conclude with the pro tip section, let's take a look at the Kuji rewards and how you can fully utilize um, your amount of medals you have um, to claim the most amount of rewards um, or rather the most amount of main item rewards um, within the trial list that I've advised you to obtain. Uh, why do not, why you do not want to obtain that gold medal at list 13 is because the medal is just an accessory. It doesn't really do anything at all. So once you've obtained the last main item from list 12, um, if you feel up to it, you can continue to play, maybe to try and obtain the gold medal or maybe to try and gain more energy ethers. Um, to restore for future events, that kind of stuff. So guys, it really depends all up to you, but my minimum recommendations to you is to get up to list 12 and claim that last two pieces of episode plates. All right, so here we go. This comes to the very tricky portion of this event. Basically, how you can fully utilize your medals at the most efficient manner. So when, here's my hint to you guys. 
when the list of items is below a hundred um i would recommend you all to just do single pulls so let's do single pulls for now since list one only has 20 items it's really pointless to actually pull by 10 because you may end up getting the main item within the first you know 10 pulls so it gives you that kind of a 50 percent rating all right so let's go continuously if your luck isn't that fantastic you might end up pulling more than what is 50 percent of the whole listing so that really depends on your own personal luck so as you can see we are almost reaching into the the first 10 items and we have not gotten the main item yet okay so we got the main item on the 10th piece that we've pulled so that's pretty fantastic so we got the la the main item on the 50 percent chance fantastic i would say it's very very decent luck so we can actually move on to the next list why you do not want to continue claiming all of this because it's really a waste of um, medals and hard-earned energy and restoration items just for these remaining items let's see for example what you have left over so these are materials that you can use for upgrading your episode plates but if you're a veterinarian player like me these items are pretty easy to come by because if you've been playing a lot a lot a lot like me you will probably have your items maxed out by now <laughs> so that's one of the reasons why you do not want to end up wasting more medals on these resources that are easily obtained so let's move on to the second list let's progress until that uh, we've reached maybe a list with uh, more than a hundred items to uh, to obtain so let's do this I'm going to fast forward this portion of the video one eternity later all right so we finally reach um, a list with at least a hundred items so this is where um, you definitely want to start pulling by tens because the the percentage ratio of you getting the item with just a single pull is extremely low from here on out um, in my list three uh, if you guys manage to catch your eye on it I pulled the entire set of items um, which was pretty 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 depressing um, so yeah um, that was very very annoying I had to use 50 medals to pull all 50 items just for the last item that was horrendous that was horrendous luck okay so anyway guys let's do this I'm just gonna show you once we pull to a certain quantity of um, probably 50 we should start using single pulls already because that's where things can can oh so we got it earlier than expected so that's pretty awesome all right so once you've gotten the main item just move on to the next list so you just basically use 30 medals out of 100 items to obtain the main item itself so guys this is pretty much how you can efficiently um, use your medals to to claim all the fantastic last item um, before moving on to your next list <clears throat> you know to save the amount of effort there we go so fantastic stuff once again on the 30 item list so this is pretty pretty lucky um, you can have extreme luck with just a single pull on the 100 item list you might end up getting that main item but the chances are extremely slim but I've experienced it myself before um, because I've been testing out like um, a certain amount of uh, items and ratios that I should be um, testing my luck with to get, at least guarantee myself uh, an easier time to handle this event so guys I'm gonna pull the rest of these items on my own time uh, hopefully you guys have awesome luck uh, getting this final item or rather the main items from the each list itself alright so let's move on to the pro tips um, from me to you because I've been playing this game for one and a half years already and I've experienced the uh, Kuji missions uh, or rather the uh, ch mission challenges event for a pretty long time and these are what I can highly recommend to you guys if you wish to play the game more efficiently uh, and of course with the least amount of effort required um, 
you know, if, if you're a lazy person like myself. <laughs> Alright, so first thing first, um, do take note, in order for you to obtain all the episode plates from the Kuji Rewards itself up to list 12, you will need to re uh, spend a total amount of 15 to 25 energy ethers or singing stones to refresh your energy um, to gain the amount of medals required to do so. That really, that range is basically from my luckiest moment to my most horrendous luck periods of this current event. So that's why I gave it a range from 15 to 25. It's the most generic number, uh, a rather set of numbers. Um, it could be 10 to 20. It really depends on each person's luck. If you are a very lucky person in general, I guess you might end up spending less. But this is a range for me, uh, a very mediocre, normal person that plays a game. So uh, my luck isn't exactly fantastic, so that's why that range is pretty high. But you can expect it to be somewhere around there. Alright, let's move on. This, um, also, this event also requires you to monitor your energy restoration very closely. Do not let your energy bar max out um, like the ticketing event itself. Now this current event is pretty easy to do so um, to, to keep your bar continuously regenerating because there is the option for you to use your energy in the double amount of time. So apparently now there's an update I guess so that's why we ended up going to the main screen. But that's fine. <laughs> so let's let's talk about it while the game uh, updates itself. Alright so since there is an option for you to use double amount of energy to gain double amount of points and medals with a single play, what does that mean? It means that well um, it's a lot easier to play this event because you don't have to spend as much time as you need for the ticketing event um, but that also there is a downside to this double usage of energy basically it means uh, you have the, the least amount of times you play the event song which gives you the least amount of chances for you to obtain those free episode plates so yes guys if you, are, if you guys are grinding the event song for those episode plates well, you kind of want to play the event songs um, without that double boost in energy usage because, well, then it will give you more chance of um, obtaining those episode plates itself unless you're the kind like me who grinds by en energy restoration um, then go ahead, use those double energy um, usage and of course grind as much as possible just to gain those um, episode plates itself. Uh, yeah, so let's move on. The next point, um, it's easier on your mental health because you don't have to play as often due to the double energy rest, uh, usage. Um, let's say for example the ticketing event requires you to play twice as much because you have to use your normal energy bar plus you have to use the ticket quantities that you have on hand so you will get very 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 mentally drained um, playing that particular event the ticketing event itself whereas this one the kuji event or slash mission challenge event um, yeah since you're able to use double the amount of energy with a single play and if your energy bar isn't as um, large as mine at ranks at 97 you guys who are at maybe rank 100 um, you probably have a higher quantity of energy than me um, you probably will only have to use um, or rather play twice uh, with 40 energy each if you are challenging extreme if you're challenging very hard it's 30 energy uh, so you probably only need to play twice or three times um, per session and then you're gonna have to wait maybe about three hours for your energy bar to regenerate to a certain amount then you continue to play again so it is very very um, kind to your mental health um, this current event style all right so the last thing I want to mention that is um, you only want to grind with energy ethers if 
you're trying to max out your Valkyrie operations, your Diva Valkyrie operations. So if you guys aren't familiar with Valkyrie operations, I have a video talking about that uh, on how you can actually um, max out your you know difficulty for your Divas Valkyrie operations. So yes, you know you, if you want to max out your Diva Valkyrie, Valkyrie operations. Um, this event isn't exactly very kind towards maxing out event, uh, VOPs um, because you need to play continuously to actually level up your Divas Valkyrie operations um, especially if you want to gain those you know companion medals and all that stuff yeah so guys this is pretty much my pro tips to you um, if I missed out anything do let me know in the comments down below as usual Hopefully you found all this information very very useful. It is a very long video and hopefully it's detailed enough for you to guide, uh, understand how to tackle this current event style um, to the best of your capabilities and of course with the least amount of effort needed. <laughs> Which is the most important thing when it comes to playing games because we all don't have time to grind video games uh, like we used to when we were students, as adults, working adults, time is not on our side, especially for myself since I have my own YouTube channel to maintain, including a Facebook group. So that's why playing the game with the least amount of effort at the top, I would say mid-tier acceptance of well-to-do is very very important so thank you guys so much for watching all the way to this part of the video if you have hopefully for those new players you kind of understand what i'm talking about for veterinarian players hopefully all the information i shared with you guys have clarified some of your doubts regarding the events and uh, maybe if it's given you some kind of insight towards what you can do better for your own style of playing and yeah let me know by hitting that like button, subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed just yet, and I'll see you guys in the next Utah Macross tutorial video. Till then, bye!